um, just thank you to every person that was um, in the building tonight and for uh, the incredible amount of uh, support staff that played a huge part in making this happen and all their energy and effort from the event staff to promotions and marketing to our staffs, our director of operations, Colton and Grant were phenomenal. And just to Coach Avery and his staff for embracing us and giving us an opportunity to make sure that we can put both programs on a platform to be successful it means so much. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so fired up and eager and excited about the future of both programs. So thanks to everyone for being here tonight. Our team thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, we all are excited about both seasons ahead. Tonight was a celebration of our men's and women's basketball team, uh, our students, administration, season ticket holders, folks that work here in Coleman Coliseum to get the courts ready and chairs down and Coach Saban coming on the video. You saw a lot of, all of us pulling in the same direction. We're all about roll tide, and we want to see both the men's and women's basketball team get to an elite level. We know it's not going to happen overnight, but for us to get from what we get by our early estimates, 8,000 plus fans in Coleman Coliseum tonight for our first annual tie tip-off event, you got to say we're going in the right direction, both programs. And the way our kids on both teams, men and women, participated in the event, the three-point shootout uh, was great. Uh, both teams worked out a little bit for our fans on the court. And, you know, they, they had dance-offs. We had unbelievable entertainment tonight. People were just standing on their feet. So if this is a little bit of a snapshot of what you're going to see during the season, we're asking all of our fans to show up. Show up November 6th. Show up for our dope double header on uh, November 13th, where hopefully you'll see both of our teams put on a great show. We, we need the community's help. We need your support. We don't want to ever see an empty seat in Coleman Coliseum and in Foster. So thank you so much, and uh, roll tag. Questions? Go ahead, Mark. You know Lawson could dance like that? <laughs> I didn't know Lawson can dance like that. So we, we're going to have a lot of fun. We, we got a lot of things from tonight that's going to go really viral on, on social media if it hadn't gone there already. And probably me dancing a little bit, which wasn't, my wife was thought I was just about an eight, not, I wanted to be a 10. Uh, but, uh, and also to all of our celebrity judges for coming out tonight from their busy schedules. From Reggie Raglan, um, the champ, Deontay Wilder, and everybody uh, that, that participated in this event to bring this together, it was really special. Back in the bag, Jen. I know you guys worked really hard to put this together, but did the crowd surprise you, pleasantly surprise you, how many people were here? Um, I, I wasn't pleasantly surprised. I expected a big crowd, but I, I tell you, I thought the energy in the crowd was really special. Their, their effort and their energy, we always talk about, are two things we can control, and I thought their energy was phenomenal tonight. So um, the excitement, the stands, I love their energy. I thought that was surprising. Let's go over to Alex and go over to Chris, just kind of, I mean, you were here obviously last year. What was, you know, you, when you didn't have this, what kind of energy does this bring an event like this compared to obviously the previous years? It's contagious. I mean, you know, um, when you see both programs with passion and energy, it's contagious. And you see folks supporting both programs. I mean, there's room for everybody. And that, like Avery said, we're all pulling in the same direction, every program at this university. And both of us are building. We understand the process. We both want at a high level. and. I mean, it's, it's exciting because um, when we're all on the same page and we all have one common goal, and that's greatness. I mean, you know, that's what being at Alabama is about, and we're both building for that and working on that every day. So, you know, I think he made a great comment tonight. We're out busting on the recruiting trail and signing some great kids and getting some great commitments. But in return, we need everybody at home recruiting, you know, hugging necks and shaking hands and spreading the good news because it's contagious. We need both programs to have the kind of support in the stands that we saw tonight. Question on the far left. Yeah, Coach Johnson, uh, yesterday you said that you had someone in mind who you thought was going to win the dunk contest, and the person who you thought was going to win sure out the way you expected him to. <laughs> um, not really. <laughs> but all of our guys try really hard. Sometimes when you miss that first dunk or the second dunk, um, you know, the juices start flowing. But I thought they put on a great show. Um, uh, you know, Dejon Ingram wanted to be in the dunk contest, but we held him out for for a particular reason. Uh, but also on tonight, you know, we really miss Jimmy Taylor. 
you know, he has a family emergency that he had to take care of. Jimmy's okay. He's 100%. But uh, we really miss Jimmy, and, you know, we send Jim our prayers to Jimmy and his family for the situation that they're dealing with. But we miss Jimmy tonight. Other questions for either coach? Anything else? All right, roll tight. Thanks roll for coming. Tight. Thank you.